D-W-O, baby. Dump, dump. Ah! It's a big dog! <laughs> Dump them, baby. Yes. I thought I heard something behind us. <laughs> nice shot, buddy. All right. Well, I know what happened there, but you know, he downwinded us. Came from behind us. All really thick down there. We call a lot of dogs behind us. But um, we had a, supposed to have a northeast wind, so either wind is going to come from that way or up that way. So I think Andy, Andy said, you can hear probably hear it on the film. He goes, I think I heard someone behind us. And then I looked down, and that dog's just jutting across the field. So that's predator hunting, you know, downwind of us, but stopped him. That's, Good why, job. that's why we walked in the middle of the field. All right, buddy. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. All right, well, this is a case of a classic downwinder, and this is why we set up like we do. So we have an open field downwind in case a coyote comes out just like this, and, you know, there's nowhere for him to go. He's got to run somewhere. And he had that little hop going to him, so we knew he was going to slow down. He wasn't too spooked, so he gave out a howl, and uh, he stopped, and Eric made a great shot. Yeah, we switched to these uh, these Nozzlers Varmageddon this year, the 55 grain. And, uh, you know, with the old bolts we were using, we just weren't getting the performance we were looking for. Um, but these, are just they're meant to just have a really explosive expansion in this thing. He didn't have a chance. I mean, in that you know, people worry about being fur friendly. There, he can find a hole on this thing. So, a really nice performance from these bullets. We're loving them so far. It's our second kill with them. Uh, you know, both animals have just dumped right away, and um, we're happy with these. So, oh, good hunt, buddy. Nice job. Thanks. Dumped them, baby.